Year 5. Year 5, season 1, uh, called Broken Wings. And uh, in the wake uh, of the attack on the White House, uh, we're going to be tasked with uh, rescuing 11 people who were discovered are missing. Yeah, so for the first season, um, we're going after a part of those. And um, that's going to pan out uh, throughout the next couple of months. And uh, it's going to be extremely exciting to turn everything upside down, I would say, versus what we've been used to, uh, hunting targets. And uh, now we are set to get our people back. Yeah, let's watch the trailer. Mm. Agents have one mission. All the threats we face. All the sacrifices we make. They're in service of one overriding purpose. To protect our community. And if we cannot bring our people home, then we fail that mission. Yeah, so we see the target here, so Mari uh, in center. Um, and uh, of course, there's uh, some story with her being uh, a uh, fiancé of um, a very well-known NPC in, in our uh, story. Um, I'll let you all discover that. Uh, but also, as you can see here, we, we have uh, the targets uh, or the missing people, uh, John Aver, Lauren Mitchell, you know, the, the typical uh, setup for that. Um, but of course, uh, with them being friendlies, uh, everything is also going to look a bit different uh, in the UI. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, trying to really play into the new fantasy of, of the season uh, being uh, a, a friendly manhunt, uh, if you could say, uh, use that kind of word. Yeah, so the castle is, uh, you know, we, we saw the reaction for the players when uh, the castle suddenly were populated uh, at the beginning of season 11. And... Um, this time around, we actually will see a progress throughout the season. So for each target that you, or hostage that you get back, uh, one of the uh, facilities of, uh, of the castle will be opened up. So we have a, a real progression uh, sensation uh, for the player to feel throughout uh, season one here, Broken Wings. But before we move into that, let's talk about the manhunt rewards. Yeah, it's a, it's a vanity uh, vanity rewards, and and we want to be very clear about this because um, we did see a lot of confusion about what was it actually that was oh, rewarded at the end of of the manhunt. Um, so we decided to to basically invest our time in in you know creating a really nice. Uh, new gear, weapons, and whatnot to be rewarded in other areas of the game and not uh, keep them behind a 12-week uh, calendar uh, of the manhunt. Uh, but not only the gear going to be a part of the uh, new season uh, pass. Uh, yeah, we can see the Shocker Punch. It's a new exotic uh, holster. Uh, there are also going to be nine new weapon skins. Yep. We'll show a few of them a bit later. Ten new gear dies. Correct. Three new emotes. Yeah, I'm we're really bringing emotes back. Uh, so that's uh, we, we got uh, our hands on some people that can actually do all the animation tech that's needed to do that. And uh, that's super exciting that we uh, get some new emotes uh, back on, uh, on the season pass. Yeah, also three new arm patches. Yep. And... Special year five season one vanity outfit. Yes, there's uh, so the, of course we're introducing uh, the normal standard vanity outfit. Uh, you can see uh, the Cavalier uh, gear set uh, on screen right now. Um, but yeah, we have a, a standard vanity outfit um, that unlocks pretty early on in the season pass, and then something new that we're introducing with season one is 
another uh, outfit uh, to collect uh, on the premium pass, which uh, we revealed uh, a little time ago. I think it was on Division Day. Um, that the Splinter Cell outfit will be a part oh, of uh, the season pass. Um, yeah. So this is something that we would rather reward uh, players with uh, as an example instead of putting stuff uh, on on the manhunt uh, uh, completion. And a new helmet as well. So a lot of new vanity items, and I think that's something that players has been asking for a long time yes. now. So it's very exciting that we're going to get a lot of them. Yes, Escalation Apparel event. So this one is um, inspired by... Shade Tech and Black Tusk. Um, so we, okay. you know, Palace team and, and Palace especially had uh, this fantasy of, all right, well, how would, you know, how would uh, the Shade uh, inspired part of a, you know, the Black Tusk are very evolved and have a, a lot of tech at their uh, disposal. And, and how would that be if it looked, you know, from a Shade uh, Tech uh, perspective? Um, so that's kind of the fantasy behind this. And, and we have a few of the outfits uh, you can see here. Um, again, there are some, some uh, visual effects uh, that are not uh, uh, super easy to show uh, on a still image. Uh, so you'll have to wait uh, to see those uh, in-game. Um, but I think it's, it's, a, it's a really nice looking uh, set of, uh, of outfits that is a part of the Escalation event. Yeah, and here is a preview of some of them uh, created by our content here at Massive. Hello, George. <laughs> So just to mention uh, that uh, Apparel event is dropping very soon, uh, this this month to be precise. Uh, the cool. final date will be revealed yeah. a bit later. So it's uh, later in June, yeah. Yeah, and uh, just a reminder for everyone that the Apparel caches can be earned from uh, three sources. One free key will be granted to all the players. Another source is shade leveling, uh, one key for every four shade levels, and direct purchase with premium credits. And if you're a season uh, pass owner, uh, you will be granted three extra keys. That's not bad. So, yeah, don't miss a chance. Uh, we'll make an announcement soon. Yep. And I think it's a very neat looking April yeah, event. That's a cool one. It's a cool outfit like that. We hope you like it. Mm, we do at least. <laughs> yeah, I know that a lot of a lot of players are uh, fans of you know tactical looking no, gear, cool. and I mean Johnson. Uh, it's one of the outfits uh, created after one of the uh, characters that we have on the key art, right? You know, you know, I would call them adjustments. There's only one big change since PTS uh, to um, in terms of of gear and and whatnot. Um, and that is, uh, you know, we tested two different uh, variations of the Cavalier uh, gear set. And we we have decided to go with the direction that it went for the first PTS. Um, so it is preventing skill damage um, in uh, instead of just a flat damage. And that progression after the Nemesis, we have adjusted since PTS2 as well. Um, actually, qu with quite a lot of uh, changes. Um, I think I got like two uh, pages uh, of lines of, of, of uh, adjustments uh, to make sure that we we, uh, you know, get that sensation correct that it becomes more and more impossible to progress, basically. The named blueprints will be in the Descent reward pool, meaning that you will be able to grind out uh, blueprints for, for named items in the game. And then the final uh, little reward is um, for each 10 levels that you beat in the game mode, you will be rewarded with a unique arm patch uh, to show off uh, that uh, you've uh, you've done so uh, in in Ten the season. Levels. So they will be season themed. These arm patches. Damn. Um, so of course the the, the first tier is the for ten levels, and then twenty levels, thirty levels, and then we stop at forty so levels. Much. First off, the grand step. Um, so from uh, from tomorrow, the compensations will be in the store. There will be a new tab in the store called grants. And in there, you will find the newly skinned Dr. Home um, that will be available to all players from tomorrow. Um, and you can claim that once per account. On the XP revamp, um, so we heard the feedback and we have, uh, we have buffed it across the board uh, since PTS2. Um, so... Of course, the, 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 the double XP is, is you know, removed. And then instead, 
if we're looking across uh, at the numbers from previous uh, end to tomorrow, um, we are across the board basically increasing all XP gains by 12%. Um, okay. So <laughs> some, of these, uh, some of these activities in the open world will be massively buffed. I mean, they will be more than double XP than what they are today. Um, and uh, all those details will be in the patch notes uh, later today. So I, I think, um, you know, it's, it's something we're going to be tracking. Um, and uh, hopefully it, it'll feel rewarding. The, the, basically, the idea is that instead of resetting the map, you know, playing the UI, as I, I, I tend to call it, by resetting uh, the map, finding the, that certain, you know, uh, activity you want to play, fast travel, run to it, do it, and then repeat. Um, the idea is that all activities grant the same kind of XP uh, per hour. Um, by the way, it's including NPC kills. Um, and okay. so, you know, you will just play whatever is nearest. Yeah, uh, countdown, uh, Mitch make an update. Ah. Yeah, uh, so there's a, there's a small patch on the countdown. We know that it's broken and it's, uh, it's frustrating that, that, you know, you have to mm. queue up uh, several times to find a match that is working. Um, mm. And so uh, we, we know we have a fix for the matchmaking. So apparently what has been going on is that uh, the exact time that it loads in it the one of the players is kicked or leaves or gets like a, a desync um then it breaks the uh, the countdown session um so that fix is coming uh, with tomorrow and then we'll of course keep a close eye uh, on on uh, everything countdown to see if there are any other issues that uh, could potentially be part of uh, of breaking the experience but uh, Hopefully, uh, we can uh, all uh, start the, the loot grind in, in Countdown on a more regular and uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, fun basis uh, from uh, tomorrow on. So, uh, so we know that uh, there are blueprints missing from four seasons. Uh, season 9, 10, 11, and Season 3. Um, so they will be, in Season 1, they will be added to the loot pool of uh, Control Point Level 4s. People started speculating like crazy <laughs> what the DLC is going to be about, cool. where it's going to be uh, located. Yeah. And I think, uh, I, I guess we, we thought it would be obvious from, from the roadmap. Yeah, here we see the roadmap. Um, but yeah, well, let's just confirm that uh, the DLC will be set in, in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, cool. So that's out of the way. Uh, all the speculations awesome. uh, can, can, uh, can stop. Um, uh, we saw some very creative uh, suggestions and 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 videos on and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the location that we are we're going in uh, at the end of the year. Um, oh, so awesome. we're super excited for for, for that uh, when that happens. Um, and then for season three, um, so it's a you know a slower season in terms of pieces of content and whatnot. Um, story wise, uh, I think this is. Uh, this is probably the the, the big uh, story piece of the year, um, and uh, we're not going to talk more about that. Um, and then we are, are trying to bring some some more engaging uh, holiday fun, um, and we'll get back to you, of course, with what that entails and and how you can be part of that. Um, but uh, it should uh, be more gameplay rewarding than what it has been uh, previously. Um, so just some some small uh, st small stuff happening on that front. Um, the only difference between Division One and Division Two incursions would be that Division Two incursion feels more like a raid. Yes, 